hey there and welcome to today's lesson today i'm going to be showing you how to play that really really sexy lob shot you know that shot that phil mickelson loves to hit he's so good at I just want to We're going to try and play exactly like that. Well, not exactly like that, but something similar. Before we start, I just want you to subscribe, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for any notifications of any videos that I upload as well to help you and your golf. Also on my website, richardcartwrightgolf.co.uk, I've got the blueprint, the white paper to help you play better golf. There's so many different ways but I point out the main areas and elements of the game that can help you. It's a free PDF upload to today's lesson. So I'm sure you've encountered this on the golf course. A bunker in front, the pin, the hole just on the other side of the bunker. We've got to get that ball up in the air and staying in the air as soon as possible. Now it's not spin that creates the height. It's the loft and the quality of the contact to get under the ball that develops the height. There's not a huge amount of spin on this shot, believe it or not. It's just the height that makes sure it lands nice and soft on the green. But it is blooming difficult to play. And I know a lot of people struggle with this shot. I'm gonna give you the three big reasons and things that you can do to help you hit this shot. First and foremost, we've got to make sure that club face is pointing up towards the sky to begin with, okay? There's no point in having that club face pointing down. There's no loft on the golf club. We need to add some loft to that golf club. So we need that club pointing up towards the sky. Secondly, we need that handle nice and low to the ground, okay? Because we've got to skim the club underneath this golf ball, we need to make sure to allow that to happen, we need to make sure that handle is really quite low, almost resting just above sort of knee area to ensure that club gets underneath that golf ball. So if we have the club too upright, it's gonna be very, very tricky to get that club down towards the ground where we need it to be. And thirdly, we need to be able to hinge our wrist both back and through for that sensation of that club sliding and gliding underneath that golf ball. We need to make sure that those wrists are doing a lot more of the work. It's not a lot of body turn in this shot. We need to allow those wrists to almost feel like it's picking the golf club up, almost like a bunker shot. So we need to get that feeling those wrists are hinging on the way back, what I call an L shape between the shaft and the left arm and then on the way through, an almost reverse L shape on the way through. Again, between shaft and left arm on the way through. We can't afford to keep our wrist stiff on this shot because we're not gonna get the loft, the elevation on this shot. And when we do all that right, hopefully, that ball beautifully floats up in the air and just lands like a butterfly on hot coals. Hope this helps. Again, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this. Leave your comments below as well. Any help needed, please let me know. And I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson.